Today we're unboxing Black Rose Wars Wave 2. I didn't even know that was a thing, but I'm Mark Maya and this is Board Game Coffee. Imagine my surprise when I got a shipping notification that Black Rose Wars was headed my way. I couldn't help but think, didn't we unbox that like last year? And then I, I read something about two waves? Didn't even know that was a thing. Didn't even know. Had no idea that there was two waves. Thought I was done. Thought I was done. Uh, it's a good thing that there's honest people at the shipping depot and the Black Wars Black Rose Wars locations. Okay, well, let's get in this. And here's the thing, you know, I'm gonna tell you, what I'm opening is so I'm gonna tell you a little story. And it's a short story. The story goes like, it goes like this. Backed Black Rose Wars, what like, must have been what, two years ago? Unboxed it like a year ago. And now here's wave two. The moral of the story is, there's no moral. The ending, the story, the solution, the, the conclusion to this story, that's it. The conclusion of the story is I haven't played Black Rose Wars, Black Rose Wars yet. I haven't played it yet. It's on my shelf of shame and it's always, but it, I, I gotta give you this, or I'm gonna tell you this, it's always that game that's the next one I'm gonna play that I don't. Something comes up, but it's always right there. It's on, it's just on the tip of my shelf. Okay, right, let's open this up. Bubbly, rappy. Whatever's in here is safe. Ooh, looky. Oh, there's like minis and stuff. I don't remember, I don't know what we're getting. I don't know if it's expansions, extra minis. I have no idea. Like I said, I didn't even recall there was a second wave and I don't know how to play Black Rose Wars. I heard it was, uh, well, it's like an arena battle game type of deal. I think that was it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that looks cool, look at that. Inferno. Anyways, but I, I think it was the guys at Secret Cabal, Jamie. I think it was you. You you told me that uh, that you thought this game was pretty cool. So uh, I'll take your word for it. Uh, okay, let's see what we got here. Oh look, minis and stuff, and little little baby dragons, and what's the deal with the little baby dragons? Okay, let's get that stuff out of here. Oh look at that, it's a shiny. Yeah, a little glossy card action there. Put that there, and ooh, art book. Now I remember, what I do remember is that this game looked beautiful. And I believe it had little wooden bowls, if I remember correctly. Yeah. If you're curious about our first unboxing, just look up our unboxing of Black Rose Wars, which now we're gonna change the thumbnail to say part one. Oh wait, so this is, that's heavy. What's in there? Anything else? No, just bubbly wraps. Let's get rid of this. Okay. I don't know if you can see that the box didn't go very far. Why? Because since our Christmas special, our studio is still in shambles. All right, what, what do we got here? What do we got here? Um, I don't know what's in here, but we got some stuff. Let's, let's get her going. All right, okay, let's, let's do this. This is just in time for my birthday. My birthday's next week, December 17. Last year we did a big special where we live streamed Zombie Side Invader all day. We're not doing that this year. Um, why? Because as much as that was fun, I did enjoy doing it. I'm a little burnt out this year. We got a lot going on, we got a lot going on. So, I need a little birthday break. Okay, all right. But what's great is from my birthday and onward, I've got the year off. So I'm going to be playing all kinds of things. At least that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. This is one of those things. Well, maybe not this, the cord box. You know what I mean. Anyways, let's get in here. I. This is gonna be beautiful. I know it, I feel it. There's stuff on the box. I don't wanna see the pictures. I just don't wanna completely destroy this little wrappy thing. They, I can just slide this off, what am I doing? 
I also came home with the intent today of taking a nap. Then I saw this at my door. No napping for me. I'm trying not to look at what's on the back here. Back here. Much better than ripping it. How do you do this? There you go. All right, let's roll up our sleeves and get in here. Let's get. Honestly, didn't look at the sleeve. I know. I want to see it. I can still see it. I, don't, I didn't really look at it. So, like, I, I don't know what's in here. Actually, I have no idea. I'm so excited to find out that. Okay. Well, cardboard. Cardboard. We got lots and lots of. That's gushy. Why is that gushy? We got lots and lots of cardboard. So we're gonna be opening up a lot of cardboard, and I'm assuming. That's a rule book for this extra stuff. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a lot of stuff. You're definitely gonna just, this, we're just gonna start with the core box. We're gonna start with the core box. We'll jump into this later. Okay, uh, which definitely won't be this year. Maybe, who knows? I don't think so, but maybe. Okay, so we got 22 pages. It's quite a bit. It's quite, quite a bit. And we got a bunch of stuff. Ooh, Ooh, I like this. That's nice. I don't remember. I don't remember. Do they have things like this in the original? I I swear all I remember is the wooden bowls and these little teeny tiny rose minis. Like, hold on. I'm starting to get some flashbacks of this guy named Marco. Why? Because my name's Marco. And he looks like a fool. I'm a little disappointed how this guy looks. I can only imagine back then in the original video I was probably also disappointed. You know what? I'm gonna double check that video. I, I, I can't see myself being impressed with this being Marco, since that's my actual legal name. Okay, oh, mini dragons! It's full of minis! <laughs> Game on! I thought it was all cardboard. Oh, baby. Oh, sweet Christmas. Yes, yes. Let's look at the cardboard first. And we'll look at that cool stuff later. Oh my god, that looks, it's a giant box full of minis that are gonna be... Uh, I'm drooling. Oh my god, I'm drooling. It's actually happening. Okay, let's let's take a look at these. Let's see what we're gonna get in our little box here. What's our, all this cardboard is all about ski. I'm working on my Russian. I don't know where that came from. I'm sorry. I've been playing a lot of deep state. That came from Russia. Maybe that's why. Alrighty, look at these. So we got a bunch of little wizard tokens. All kinds of different colors. We got whatever those are. Roses. And then, is that a pink elephant? It is a pink elephant. Look at these things. The roses are always so tiny. There's such little details and roses everywhere. Can't wait till I play the game and find out the significance. There's got to be a how to play on this online. Did we see him before? Was he on the other side? Oh, he is. I missed him. That's our little new character, I'm assuming. So those look the same, I think. On both sides. Let's put that over there. Then we got this. this which, which way do these, these are kind of all over the place. So I'll just... There you go. If some of them are upside down, just flip your monitor upside down, it works. We're in 4K, so you guys should be able to get a good view of that. Maybe it's... Actually, this is probably less upside down. What are those? Like an altar? Or a, a throne room of some sort? Oh, those creepy hands! Those are hands, right? Yeah! Those are creepy. What's the deal? Okay, so that's the... Oh, on the back, they're a little different. They have... They're X'd out. So when when shit hits the fan, you get X's. And it looks... I got that upside down again. Be it, they do. Oh, somebody's turned off... Somebody's turned on the lights on the throne room? Something's going on here. It's not quite the same as it used to be. All right. Those are those. And let's... Let's check out what's in here. These 
these, I assume, are player boards. And these are fairly large, actually. There's the back of them. Oh, different cut, yeah, different backs for each player. Makes sense. So that's what they look like. And I'm guessing other than the color, they're probably all the same. Looks like you have like slots for cards here, down here, around here. A lot of card slotting. This game's just full of slots. So your blue slots, your yellow roses, your, well, I'm assuming the black rose, and your red rose. Okay. Let's bust those over there. And let's no, do those later. Let's do this. Check this out. No, this out. This thing right here. Old Jukas. Ah, uh, old Jukas. He dresses pretty badass. Look at that outfit. No, oh, out. He's keeping up with the styles. Oh, is that how big he is in reference? Is that a thing in the game? I guess because he's a medium sized. I would be like this guy, or they'd have to add an extra little, like a like a, a midget hobbit like thing for me. That's what they'd have to add. Um, except my feet look prettier. Okay, that's done. Let's go check out the old man's card. That's just, I'm just taking out the plastic in case it's overly shiny in the studio lights. Ta-da. I'm digging the artwork. I'm not a huge fan of bevel embossed icons that as uh, I spent most of my years as an art director I was never a huge fan of beveled and embossed in few cases it works in this case I don't really care for it it's it's okay it works I just I just rather see something else hey but he looks cool though I like the art I like the artwork on him okay now what's what's the deal with this thing it's like a, this, if, by my video game knowledge, this looks like some sort of evolution chart, but could be totally off. It's like a plastic, actually. It's very smooth. That'd be cardboard. And there's a bunch of just reference, I'm assuming. Okay. And now we got, ta-da, Marco. He looks ridiculous. Let's crack her open. Okay. Ta-da. I do like, I just, I don't like the way he looks, but I like the artwork. It's some good quality stuff. Okay, so let's flip through all the one side and then we'll do the other side. I could probably do that. I'll just flip them over really quick. Genevieve. Ooh, Tessa. Badass. It's the back of Tessa. Jafar. That's an original name. Oh, actually, actually, I like him. He looks pretty cool. He looks neat. I like, actually, I like the way he looks better than Tessa. He looks serious. Rebecca. I dated a Rebecca. She didn't have any cool powers though. Well, kind of powers of manipulation, I guess. And distrust and you know, dark magic, but that's that's a story for another unboxing. Ooh, Medusa. Hello. I like the headpiece. And this guy was pulled right out of Final Fantasy. And hit the gym. Or Vivian, this girl, was pulled right out of Final Fantasy. Hmm. Tora. Who do we got here? Oh, Mr. Greeny Face. Mr. Glowy Eyes. Well, serious. And here's the, uh, I'm assuming the lecturer of the bunch. He's the one that's like, you kids, don't stay out late past your curfew. 
Yeah, we got Skulltor. That seems like a Skeletor, uh, a play on Skeletor. Skulltor, but I approve. Is there a He-Man? Because I definitely approve. I loved Masters of the Universe. Hi, it's your old Jukus. Jukus? Jukus. Why does he got two cards? You got this one and the other one. Oh, the other one looks completely different. And Howard. Well, he didn't. He was last in line in the cool name section. When they were giving out cool names, yeah, he was. He slept in. All right. He looks like. Oh, it's. He's Mickey, but just like a demon. That's awesome. I love this guy. He's just like Mickey from Fantasia or the um, the Broom cartoon where he brought all the mop, sorry the mops. He brought all the mops to life because he was a bad magician. He's got the Mickey hat and everything. That's great. That guy's. I'm. I'm gonna play as Mickey. That's great. And yeah, we have here. You know, there's probably been a bunch of uh, like spoofy like things in here that I've just totally missed because I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't looking for it. Who are you? Ooh, hello. She's trying to seduce me with her eyes. It's working. Oh, he's trying to seduce me with his eye. It's also working. His beard is badass. Bella. Okay. Least impressed with Bella. Something about her looks familiar though. And something about her. Hmm. Baba Yaga, eh? She looks familiar. Like she's based on an actress of some sort. Or some actress I know. Oh, well, he looks cool. Yeah. Very up-to-date look with his um, facial hair. Well, she's got it going on, as in she looks like she's got together. You know, university gra graduate, she's got things sorted out. Her life is in order. This guy's life is taking a turn. Okay. All right, so that was that. And uh, I think we already took a little sneaky peek of that thing. I love that. That look, that's great. Okay, I think you, you guys got a look at this already. Don't flip through too much of the rule book. But uh, yeah, okay. All right, oh, let's check out this. Didn't, I uh, almost forgot about the old art book. Come on. Come on. This, so I know what box I came out of. All right, ooh, pretty hardcovery. Let's give this a little quick flip. We're not gonna flip through every page. Let's see what we got here. We got some crazy artwork. Actually, I think I remember this guy's mini. Oh, Medusa's snake bottom. Two, uh, yeah. Okay, well that was unexpected. See, look at them. You're seeing a lot. Of, these are shiny pages, so you're getting a lot of reflection of the studio lights. But look cool he is. We'll see the minis, and I'm sure there's going to be more awesome things. Ooh, I love, love those concepts. That's super cool. Ooh, I like her. That looks cool too. Oh my god, those are awesome. Okay. Very nice. It was a very nice art book that didn't come in there, so I keep trying to keep things separate. You know what? We got a box full of minis over there, and I'm gonna guess that there's more minis in here. So I'm gonna open this, and then we're gonna bring the camera down and we'll look at all the minis at once. So let's check it out. Inferno. That 
That box art looks intense. I love it. Okay, this is actual unlidding. We didn't really get that in the other one. It was a lid flipping. Oh, that was good. That was good, five out of five. Bravo, great, great unliving. Okay, we got some artwork here. I don't know if you can see that. Some artwork on the box, that looks pretty cool. Nothing on that. Ooh, there's that uh, image I like that was in the back of the book. And I like how they have the little wizards as a two to four players, 14 up, I like, I, I dig that. Let's put that over here and see what we got. I knew it, knew it, a whole bunch of minis. Ooh, what's her? What is she? She looks cool. Check her out. Look at that. She got like one horn. That's a. I actually really like that design. She, these are all like... Like you can... We're gonna stick some sort of cubes in there to count something. Life, I'm assuming. And there's the more art. Ooh, she's buff! She works out. That's a really nice piece of art. Okay, I like that. And here's the art book. Oh, the picture looks better on here than the box. It's easier to read. There's, no, sorry, not the art book, the rule book is what I meant. What's going on here? One English, one not so English, maybe? Let's see. Yep, rule book. So I'm guessing it's a rule book for Inferno. There seems to be a lot of rules. A lot of reading. Maybe just a lot of reference? A lot of stuff. Yeah, because this is not of the English. Um, so, it's just, not that it matters, we're not going to read it, but, well, not here, I mean. Oh, he looks badass, he's got horns in his eyes. Did you ever wake up with horns in your eyes? It's so annoying. Yeah, you're rubbing it. It's like the worst kind of eye crusties. you got so many of them, they form horns in your face. How many pages is this for other... 19 pages. Ooh, looks a lot like a lot of it is clarification and reference. But wow, there is a lot of rulings in this game, it seems like. I don't want to mix that up with what came out of the other box, so put, I think it's good enough. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, let's move this aside. So. Then we got these things. These are tiny. There's like four of those. And we got a little uh, glowy little card. You know, this calls to, or calls for getting in close. Let's do that. Da da! All right. Um, you know, very excited to open these minis because, not because it's, yeah, I'm always excited to open minis, but because it's been weak since I opened minis. Yeah, we, we just did Ether Fields recently, and uh, that was full of cool minis too. All right, let's, uh, let's open these things. Let's open, see what, see, came these little, these little boxes, little kits. The camera's a little close for you to see it all at the same time, but you get the idea, they look like this. All right? And they, they're in those packs, oh no, I was like, they're in those packs that you just can't open, but there's a little bits of tape in the corner here. Looks like I can just rip off. Thank you for making these easy to open. I mean that, that wasn't sarcasm. That was easy to open. What do we got here? Looks like we got a special little tile. A griffin tile. Oh, it's a griffin's nest. See all the uh, the eggs? Great environment art. Oh, somebody's taking some griffin eggs. There's less in there. Or they've left. Oh, look at the little baby griffins. They're adorable. Oh, this is a foldy, booky thingy. Oh, the rules? What's going on here? This is like falling apart. Okay, so we got like these uh, rules. Can't really see them because I moved the camera too low, but it's kind of kind of falls apart. They're like this loose, loose leaf, leaf rules. Are this just reference in different languages? It might be. That might just be what it is because they look the same. Okay, so. Uh, but they look adorable. I just can't put this together. I would really want to see the mini 
for that like Mickey Mouse inspired guy. But look at look how cute these guys are. Come on. Okay. Now we got this more. This looks like unhappy. Oh, are those dead Griffin babies. Oh yeah. How did you kill those things? What is what monster? These pop out, by the way. This isn't like one card. I just want to pop them out now. Look at the little cards. Look at the little, little babies. I just got a puppy. And uh, these little baby griffins kind of remind me of, of her. Her name is Millie. She's adorable. She's an Australian Labradoodle. Okay, so let's go through these cards. Oh, that looks like it holds. I actually really like the 3D effect on that. It really actually looks like, like it's a flat card, but they did a really good job with the shading on that to make it to make it look convincingly three-dimensional. Okay, so let's flip through these. I'm assuming there's, we got two different languages. So let's go through these quick and you can pause. And let's go look at both sides. Okay, so that was all the cards. Are these little griffins? Is that what I'm gonna get here? For some reason, oh, what's that? He's like burnt. He's, oh, he's got like schmutz. It's not cool. Let's zoom in here. Is he burnt? I got like a burnt mini. Look at this. Looks like he backed into the stove. Well, it's, he's never gonna do that again. It's a lesson learned. Okay. Well, that's that's disappointing that the mini's all like. Burnt. It's not cool. Let's see right in there. But he's on this like half moon dealio. So maybe uh, you Ludus guys, if you're looking at this, you'll send me an unburnt version of the little griffin. That'd be swell. And who, who do we got here? They're cute little guys. They're tiny. As you can see them in relation to my fingers. And I, I had to zoom in. So I'm not sure exactly how clear it is all zoomed in, but what do these lock to? Do they lock to each other? Come on. Is this like a like a this type of thing? Might be. Or maybe they lock to the players. Are they like little sidekicks? Can that would be cool? Can I get a side? Oh, can I get a sidekick Griffin? No, I'm just making things up. Like, look how adorable that is. All right. I'm gonna sidekick Griffin. I'm going to assume those wrap around my minis and their pets for me. That's that's what I'm gonna assume. And I can't seem to put this away, so we're just gonna. This is a problem for a future mark to sort. Let's just put that over there. Okay. Alrighty, and uh, more stuff. Let's open up. What are these? Ooh, they're like all kinds of little babies. So they have baby dragons, baby griffins. Are they supposed to be pets? Are they pets? I'm looking for... You need Black Rose Wars game to enjoy this expansion. That's all it says. I hope they're pets. It probably says in the rules, I'm sure, but I'm not going to read them here in front of you. But they've got to be pets, right? Like, why else would you make them so adorable? Who wants ugly pets? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. I mean, who there has an ugly... Who out there has an ugly pet? If you admit that, you're a monster. You are a monster. You're the true monster, not these adorable dragons. All right, so here is, whoa, I'm zoomed in. Here is the dragon's nest. I'm getting a theme here where I think we can steal eggs from these nests and take them as pets. That's my guess. I'm just gonna go there, make some claims of things I know nothing of. Okay. Ooh. They're adorable too. Kind of getting a um, Dragon Veil vibe from these guys. Oh, that's not good. You don't want, you don't want to see that. Yeah, let's, so we got their, well, let's look, there's their cool art. And then their little, Sheets, shitty, shitty little learning thingies. Okay. 
What do we got here? Let's flip through some cute dragons. Oh, hold on. What is it? I think that's what it is. That's, I think that represents you. And that's that little moon shape. That's your pet. It is. They are pets. Again, still no confirmation. I haven't read anything about this. Didn't even know this was a thing. But I am so happy that it is. This is an expansion that I'm playing with right away if these are actual pets. I gotta admit, you know, I, I like the dragons. I think the idea of having little pet dragons is adorable, but so far, I'm on Team Griffin. I think the griffins look cuter. But I do like the little dragon minis, though. Look at that. Look how cute. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, little guy. Let's zoom in. Again, because these are so small, we have to zoom in uh, quite a bit, which might take away from the quality of the video a little bit, but still should look pretty good. All right, so that guy looks cool. Like they have their own names, but I'm gonna give them my own. I'm gonna name them myself. Is what I was trying to say. A little rose decals still. Oh, he's precious. And see what we got here. Oh, this is the guy that was breathing the fireball. It looks like he's got some bubble gum that's exploding. He's cute. Okay, these are tiny. Tiny little dragon buddies. Okay, let's toss them in there. What do we got now? We got, oh, look at these guys. Look at that. Hydra, baby Hydra. I guess I'm liking these concepts for pets. I, I clearly have stuck to the idea that they're pets. I'm just gonna roll with that. If they're not, I'm sure I can modify. Oh, I forgot what I zoomed in. Ooh, that's pretty. They did a really good job on that water effect. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. I just banged it with my big fat hands. I actually have little tiny chubby hands. They're not big at all. Um, okay. Here's what the hydras look like. Look at Look at They're cuter than the dragons. Look at this guy. Look at, look at his face. Oh, He's adorable. This is... This guy looks the most like Millie. She's always up looking for treats. These don't impress me all that much. It's like they don't fit great in the box. They look much better on cards. Granted, the artwork on the pets, um, I think I like the dragons the least as far as the artwork, but I don't think none, and none of this artwork really kind of matches with the other character at work. I mean, as far as quality goes. I don't think it's up on the same, I don't think they're on the same level. Either just a different artist or same artist working quicker, or maybe just little baby creatures aren't their thing. I mean, they look okay, don't get me wrong. I'm just not like gaga over the illustrations of them, but I do gaga over the ideas and the minis. Little baby Hydra. Zoom in time. Oh, look, that's the one I, I liked with a little tongue sticking out. They look a lot meaner. They look a little serious. They look a little friendlier in the illustration. Cool. And in the bottoms, they all have this, by the way, a little branding. There we go. This guy was the one st standing watch. The other two are the other two heads are napping. And there's the beggar. This was B Millie. She'd be asking for treats. That's cute. Okay, we got one more of these little pets left, and then we break into some 
serious mini action. No more of this adorable pet stuff. Okay, who do we got now? Now we got, oh, the Cerberus. These are the dogs. The three-headed dogs. Is it three heads on a Cerberus? Yes, it is. Am I pronouncing that right? Is it Cerberus? I'm trying to remember. Where did they have that? Was it Harry Potter? Didn't, uh... Ah, oh, man. I don't know why I'm drawing a name. The giant guy. Hagrid. Didn't he have a pet? Cerberus? It was like called Spot or Tiny or Stinky or something like that. Oh, zoom out. Let's see what we got here. Let's check out the tile. There you go. Yeah, that's what they look like. Oh, there you go. I like the eyes on this guy. Oh, I like how they're all different dogs. It's like a pug, and there's like a German Shepherd looking like thing, and I think that looks kind of like a, I don't know what kind of dog, like a Chihuahua, or is they, are they all pugs? I don't know. They look cool, I like that. They look like different dogs. And that's the sad side. And there you go. It's cute. Okay, let, let us flip through these. Super speed. Ready? Here we go. And it doesn't seem like fast. That's super speed for me. Oh, I want to see this guy again. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look. Oh. Their tongues are gray. Should go check that out. That's not normal. Oh, he's cute. He's my favorite. Here's the other side of them. I'm not even looking at the text myself. I'm just kind of making sure they stay in frame. You guys can enjoy it. I'll figure out what they say during editing. Okay. Okay. Oh, again. The zoom. Oh, there's my guy. So, they're so small. Look, look at them compared to my... Th Finger, thumbnail, and I have a small thumb. I never find gloves that fit. Cute. Oh, there's the sleeping guy. He's, he's adorable. His tongue out. I wonder if with all their heads in one place, would they be easier to take care of or harder? Like that's one bathroom trip, I assume. Do all the mouths eat? Do they take turns? I'm assuming they share a stomach. I think it would be easier. Granted, the teething phase, probably worse. But taking care of it's gotta be easy. Okay. Now, oh, forgot, we got one glowy little sparkly card. It's a promo card, according to the sticker on the back. Hey, promo card. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's zoom back. Here's the back of it. And, ooh, can you make out how sparkly that is? That looks cool. I think the studio lighting is actually helping out this time. I like it. Nice. Ooh. Okay, that's it for that. Uh, let's put that somewhere over there. And now it's it's mini time. That didn't go anywhere. Mini time. Okay, so I don't think I need the knife anymore, unless there's tape on these. And let's start with a little black box. And why? Because it's the closest. And there's no tape. Are there two layers to this? There's this one layer. Oh, there's two layers. Oh, there's more stuff. There's more stuff. It's not just minis. Oh, there's a lot of repeats. So I'll just show you one of each. Okay, let's start with these fellows. Oh, they just they sit nicely in the in the box there. Well, she is fit. Look at those legs. The buns. I've been kind of working on my buns at the gym. That's a great looking mini, though. 
I'm gonna tilt her because she's tall. We're gonna have to zoom in to get a good look at her because she's... Love those wings. Love those wings. She is fit. Okay, let's, let's get in close. I wanna see like the details, you know, for science. Whew. Look at that. She got bird feet. I could overlook that. I could overlook that. I love those wings. The wing arms, granted, that'll be a little harder to overlook. Not gonna lie. Sorry, I just I could just admire those wings forever. Cool. I like her. There's four of her in there. As you know, there's eight. She just dropped one. There is eight of her in there. And who do we have here? Ooh, she's hefty. It's a hefty little model. Let's uh, zoom out. And then we'll zoom in. These are great quality minis. Look at this. She's got a lot going on. Is that Medusa? They look like snake heads. I right, getting close. I gotta get in close to all these. These girls are fine. Well, oh, some side boob going on there. These girls are fine. You know, in, in like a terrifying way. I've commented on a lot of the uh, physical attributes of the male characters in these games because they're always like just super ripped. But in this game, so far, the ladies are taking it away. I just want to turn it over so you can see it sideways great details on everything I love like the details on her boots little snake heads a great mini nice very nice you know instead of going back and forth there's only one of her by the way instead of going back and forth if we're zoomed in already I'm just gonna stay zoomed in and then we'll zoom in Or unless you're this guy where he's pretty tiny. And he's probably better zoomed in. Yeah, he's a tiny model. There is how many, five of him? Yes, there's five of him and there's three of these. Hmm. Plastic on some of these just seems heavier. I mean, you sure of me because there's more? Look at him. And close, then we'll zoom out. He is ripped, he is jacked. Well no kidding, like look at the look at the ladies. He can't just be schlepping around with the girls looking as good as they do. I mean look at his back legs. This guy's been jumping hurdles. And you know, word on the street is he's hung like a cheap joke you know what I, you know what i mean i'm just gonna let that go i'm just gonna stop i don't want to say it. Brittany wouldn't appreciate it so i'm not gonna say it i never said it. it didn't happen here okay he's cool he's badass what is it like bike tires look like he just stole those he just stole those off a bike and he's just taking off and he could who's gonna catch him he's a horse he's half horse not only popular with the ladies but fast it's a great looking mini. Okay. Okay, so we got one more left and she's a big one. Uh, yeah, I'm not even sure how we're gonna get her to fit on camera. We might have to, oh, she can't fit. So I have to zoom out. Oh, I can fit her if I do this. There you go. Kinda, whew. Look at the details on her. She's amazing. I kinda just wanna keep this out as a showpiece. We're gonna getting a little closer in stages for this one. Whew. Love the detail on her back. All the wings. 
She got some serpent action going on too. This is the really buff girl with a horn at the one side of her head. I love the design of this girl, this character. Let's zoom in and let's check out her. She got killer like arms, Jesus. Nobody here misses a day at the gym. No one. And and they're great shoe shoppers. Like all their footwear is just fabulous. Look at that. That is amazing. Amazing detail on these. It's been a good two weeks for minis. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. And big, like the size of my face. Okay, so let's get. I'm afraid to push Medusa in too far because I don't know if I put her in right. Come on, let's get this out of here. Uh, ooh, and there's stuff in the bottom. Now, usually we go through other stuff and then the minis last, but. Anything in down here? No. But they were tricky. They put the minis on top. Okay, so let's flip through. Oh, we got some cards. That's a lot of cards. I didn't expect that many cards in there. Okay, I didn't think I was going to need this because for some reason I was just expecting minis. I don't know what kind of expansion it would be if it was just minis, especially that the box that big, but... Okay, uh, am I going to make a mess of these? I might. Okay, there's quite a stack. Are they all the same on the back? No, of course not. That'd be too easy. So let's separate these and then I'll show you what the backs look like and then we're going to go hyper speed through them. And then you're going to use your pause button and you're going to be like, oh my god, these cards are awesome. Oh man, are these all different? She's different. These look same-ish. Okay. Now we got some more gold. Sunlight cards, some silver, and some bronze. Okay, and then there, oh, there's more gold, silver, bronze, I think. Oh, it's got her face on it. We're going to look closely at that in a second. Just separating them. Okay, all right. Now, I'd like you to notice that gold is like a full moon or then half moon, and then we got a crescent moon for bronze. All right, well, let's, I don't know where to start here. Let's, uh, let's start with these ones. Let's start with these guys since we got them in my hand already. What are these? Super speed. I need some room, or it's gonna be slow speed. All right. Okay, that was quick. Glancing at the titles, they do look like different cards. Although, at a glance, if they were all the same, I probably wouldn't notice at the speed. Okay, Coolio. Boom, boom. And then we got, let's check out this one. First of all, I, I, can't, I can't get enough of this look they came up with. Great job. Okay. Well, oh, they've got a little icon there in the corner, too. Look at her. She makes for a good icon, too. All right. Let's... She's, so far, my favorite mini. In this game. There's our Half Moon set. As you'll see, the only difference is that. Well, I'm sure there's more difference on this side. There's quite a bit of text on these little cards. Oh, some math going on here? Like, what's happening? I don't know how to read these since I know nothing about the game. Okay. I'm trying not to get my thumbs in the way so you can read if you so desire. Alright. And let's get rid of those. 
let's move on to these. Let's stick with the moon theme we got going on here. There's so many of these. What do they all do? Yeah. Is there a good how to play on this game online? If you guys know of one that you uh, you like or you use, feel free to drop a link in the comments. I'll take a look at it. You know, I can watch all the how to plays in the world. Even Rodney's. And Rodney's, Rodney, you're my boy. You do a great how to play. But I still need to read the rule book. I still do. Um, I need to do both because... That's terrifying. Uh, that's, that's the box cover that we saw. Um, because, yeah, it does, just watching the how to plays, it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. It does stick once I've learned how to play the game and then I need a refresher. Then that's when how to plays really come in handy for me. But I need to read the rules myself. That's the kind of guy I am. But I encourage you to watch how to plays, especially ours. We do how to plays. Not for this. Um, but these are all different, I think, on both sides. Yeah, so we're going to do some double double flipping here. We're just going to go all on one side first, and then all the other side. Oh, she's got all oh, these the same. I think they might be. So if those are the same, let's just... Oh, that'll save some time. There you go. Those are the same. Never seen there. There's this one. This guy. Oh, there's the horse boy. Centuro. Must be Italian. Oh, this guy with the uh, horn eyes. And yeah, there she is. Okay. Let's flip to the back of them. The back of his. Are they different? Are they the same? I think they're the same. Yep. Okay. So we're just going to look at the back of each of them. Are these for different players? There's four of them? No, there's only three of them. Yep. They seem to be all the same. If they're not, I apologize in advance. Oh no! I miss that. Her, she's different. She's got that going on, and this, but she's probably all leadery, so that makes sense. Okay. Is there a demon boy? And Mr. Horny Eyes. All right. Okay. Cool. So that was that pack of cards. That was quite a quite a bit. Um, let's stick that. Stick this back in here because there's nothing underneath this. All right, and we can stick this back in here. Excellent. Uh, we got some card. Oh, more cardboard bits. Let's stick with where. So what are these? Oh, these are little. Pegs, we're not gonna take them all out because there's just a bunch of tiny ones in there. So you get these things. Don't know what those are about, but they're tiny. It looks like the kind of little plastic nubs that would fall off your IKEA furniture. That's what those look like. Yeah, looks like she's got a card. Two of them. There's one French, one English again. I say French, but I actually haven't even looked at the other language other than it's got some. Um, yeah, that's, you know, like, I just know uh, it was in English, but I want to see the art on that. Cool. So this is, uh, there you go. That's our English one. You've seen the art on both, but uh, in case you want to know what, what it says, Bam. Okay. 
Alrighty, so that is that. Let's take those in here. Oh man, there's more. There's a lot of cards in here. Okay, this unboxing admittedly is good. I knew it was a big box. I knew it was a big box. And I was shocked that there was still that much to go in wave two. Because if I remember correctly, the first unboxing took a while. So I'm, sh I, I'm a little surprised that we're at like the hour mark, something like that. And we're still going. So hold on, hold on. We brought on CDs. These probably are in English. Ha ha, ha. We don't have to look at all these. These are the same cards, just not in English. Good thing I figured that out. Let's put that, those in there. Should have left those closed, but we should have done. What do we got in here? Are these the English cubes? No, well, these must be the trackers. These, I wonder if these are what you use in things like this. Fits. Okay, let's put that in. Let's toss that in there. And what's that? What's going on here? Right. Yeah, this little, uh, let me show you. This is what was, I was wondering what went, went in there. Apparently nothing. At least nothing yet. Maybe about much, maybe these tokens. After I push them out. Okay. Right, let us see what we have here. So we have that. Whatever those are for. Yeah. The other side looks like this little zet. Okay. And are these all the same? No, they are not. So we're just gonna show you from back here. Oh, these have little, little pegs. These are, oh, these are, um, that's what those are. Look at that. I figured that out on my lonesome. Oh, that's what the little Ikea pegs were for. That's what holds them together. Hey, I figured that out all by myself. Is you pressed? Mom. God, that woman. Okay. okay, and I have a feeling that we're seeing things, same thing twice, maybe not. I don't know. Like, it again. Not really. I, I, I see, I really see this unboxing. Other than the minis, I kind of get to see it when I'm editing it. During it, it's a bit of a, just a blackout daze. Which is good, because it makes the editing go by smoother when I can like watch it again and be like, ooh, look at that, look at this. Okay, so we got a stack here of tiles. We are gonna go through. Ooh, I say we're gonna go through quickly, but look at that. Oh, somebody's in in a bad place. Okay, well, are these double lingo too? Just curious. I don't know. We'll, we'll just go through them. All right. And they've got a lot of these cuby holdery thingies. Raising of the Dead. What's happening? Huh? Look at those guys. They're like the strippers of the underworld. Oh. Yeah. It's a sad story. Oh, that's creepy. If there's anything my mom's ever taught me, it's Stay away from trees with faces on them. Kim, there you go. Okay, so the, we've seen that one, haven't we? At least the artwork is the same. I think. Ooh, that's 
That blood, that's probably blood. A game like this, it's not Kool-Aid. She, look at her and him. Look at those, those are some sexy ghosts. A six pack. She's looking pretty fit herself. And then there's that guy, third wheel. Third wheel McGee. Even in death, eh, third wheel? She's not into you. Get over it. Oh, he's out there doing a little gardening. It didn't go well. That's why I don't garden. I assume that's what's going to happen. Or this, more likely. Just snakes. Snake bush. Oh, which reminds me, it's my night to do the cooking. I thought this was like a sexy hot tub, and then I looked close and I was like, oh, nope, it's a non sexy, horrifying cold tub. Nope. It looks didn't look like they got out. Nope. Okay. That's not so bad. It's just a statue of some creepy things, so it's not so, so bad. Now it's a broken statue. Seen worse. here just like a pleasant little forest and just a l less living pleasant little forest not so bad these are getting he's no no those guys is that like they're like quicksand and it's raining fire this is not going well overall for those guys yeah yeah that's what i expected oh i can only assume on the other side of this it's boba fett Nope, it's an anus. Okay. Ooh, that's a cool throne. Oh, somebody had an issue. Yeah. All right, so those were the tiles. And these, what's this? Well, those are not in English, so we're just going to stick with the English of whatever these are. I'm going to guess reference cards, maybe? Perhaps. They're long. Yep. And that's what they are. What they are. That's what they is. Okay. So, we got some reference cards. Did we do? I think we might have done this entire box. Yep. We did. We're done. This box is done. This box is cleansed. Except we gotta put this maze back or these cardboard things back. Yeah, I did go in right. Okay, I'll figure that out later. Yeah. Okay, now we got the big box. The last big jumbo box of minis. Let's switch spots here. Come here. Come here. Over there. There you go. There you go. Ooh, there's so many. There's so oh like this this is big one. Oh my god! I'll show you what I just saw. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yes, there's a lot of minis. Yes, there is. But this I didn't know. He. Oh my God. We might have to take a break. I hope some of these are. Are only half of these are English. Um, I'll show you. How many cards? How many cards are in there? Look! Hey, well, let's, let's do this. Buckle down. Buckle down and get her done. Let's get her done. Okay. Man. That is two unboxings back to back that I've done with just like a crap load of cards. Please be half English and half not English. I don't know. I'm not getting that vibe from these. I don't want to read all these. So, at a glance, it all looks English. At least everything I saw is, okay, anyways. There are purple cards and red cards. Okay. 
All right, so, and why am I, like, I just want to get to the minis, that's why. You know, I like looking at the cards too, but I just want to get to the minis. So much to ask. Anyways, did I show you the back of those? I did. Okay, here we go. Those all the same? No, nope, they're not. Because fireball, fire dash. All right. So, okay. Let's do this. Got a lot of practice doing ether fields. Yeah, here we go. Bam! Done. That pile. Okay, ready? And let's flip. Keep your finger on that pause button. Some good stuff in here. I don't know what it is. I'll find out later. But there, I know, I know, I know there are those of you out there. I just can't get enough of this stuff. And I, I really respect that there are people out there that actually stop and go through and read all of them uh, because I've gotten comments before that I've missed something, that I've missed stuff, and I'm just so like, I'm, I'm, it's amazing. I, like, I, I appreciate that level of attention to detail. Right, let's take out just a pile of these. I hope these don't have to go back in order. I had some issues with either field because they had to go back in order and I spent like, I don't know, three hours organizing them after I did the unboxing. I don't know, I want to do that again. Speaking of ether fields, it's another reason I want to get this done because I want to go upstairs and play a game. I want to play this, but currently I'm playing ether fields. I'm doing a solo mission right now and I'm really enjoying it. But we're not here to talk about ether fields. We're here to look at Black Rose Wars. Black. Black Rose Wars. I'm having a hard time saying that. Okay, so what do we have here? The backs are all the same, so you have seen these before. Now, are there different colors here? There are. We've got some brown ones, or orange, and some purpley blue. Okay. Let's flip through these. Are they the same for characters, and they're just like... Because I'm not reading them. My eyes can't even focus on these fast enough when this is when I'm flipping them that fast. But I have hold on. I was just checking to make sure they didn't say like the same fireball things I recognized before. I don't think they did. I think they did. Somebody's out there is laughing at me. Well at least the artwork's different on these. That was that pile of cards. So you can put them, can I put them back in here? Let's just put that over there. Maybe I can tell you a story while I'm looking through these. So the backs are the same. The so story I gotta tell you is let me tell you about Brittany and her new endeavor. Brittany is making some wood crafting things with her new laser cutting machine. And she's been making Christmas ornaments. And the popular seller this year are, um, I don't want to swear on the video, but it's F flakes. You can probably figure out what the F is and they're not fun flakes. And it's not a cereal, it's a snowflake that has the F word written over and over again. Now, I'm not against swearing, obviously we're selling F flakes. I just don't want to have to edit this video later for YouTube censoring purposes and like miss it and then I'm the asshole Fuck. damn it mm. well that's it now did that in church once uh, here's another little story I went to a Catholic school in Toronto it was I went to two I went to St. Raymond's and I went to St. Bruno's and I got kicked out of one and sent to the other for misbehaving. Now, I was not a misbehaving child. I was, I was missed, as an adult, I can tell that I was misdiagnosed as a troubled child, which I was not. I was the victim of 
bullies who I stood up to them, but they were like, did you ever watch Leave it to Beaver? Did you ever watch Leave it to Beaver? Well, Eddie Haskell, where he was like good to the parents, but he was just, he was a little asshole. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna flip both sides of these. I'm just gonna, because that'll take, take too long. Um, and he was good to the, like, the, he was nice to, sweet to the parents, but he was like an asshole for real. So uh, there was this one guy in particular who would make up stories about, uh, oh, I love that guy, about things I would do to him. Now keep in mind, this guy's like twice my size. He's in like two grades above me. And he was saying that I was picking on him. And then he'd make up all these stories because the teachers loved this guy because he was such a kiss ass. And so I would get in trouble and they wouldn't believe me. They just thought I was lying because why would their little angel lie? But it didn't help with, and they asked me, like, did you kick him? I was like, yes, I kicked him. And then they were like, well, that's, well, that's why he kicked you. I was like, no, I kicked him in defense because he actually knocked me to the ground and then started booting me in the stomach. And he said, that's ridiculous. And they said, that's ridiculous because it sounded like something that you would see in a movie. And there was no witnesses, but it happened. So, they didn't believe me, so I got in trouble for that. I got in trouble for getting beaten up by a guy towards my side, size, who accused me of beating on him. Ridiculous. If you teachers are listening, I don't appreciate it. Okay. So, that was a random story. But since I usually don't talk through the cards anyways, I thought that'd be a good story time moment. Obviously I'll stop and talk if I see something that I think is super cool, but at the speed I go, it's kind of hard to find things that are super cool. The most of the super cool stuff that a card does is in the, oh, there's Skulltor, speaking of, super cool. I like him, he's neat. I hope he has a mini. All right, so let's just go through these. We don't have to separate them. You, you get that. You get the idea that we're going through different character cards. Ooh. Oh, this is uh, I think Jokus. Jukus? Those are his things, I think. Okay, so let's put those. So many stacks of cards. And uh, other things is, let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I, did I mention that I was bummed that I did not get to go to any of the conventions? I'm sure you guys are too. Now, if you've listened to this part of the video and you're listening to me ramble, let me uh, know which conventions you that you missed out on for 2020. What were you going to go to? Because I was going to try to be as much. I was going to be at Origins, Gen Con, Essen, uh, Breakout Con in Toronto, um, I was going to Grand Con. There's, there was just so, so many. Uh, and Fan Expo, which I go to every year. That's also in Toronto. Um, and there was a, one other, I believe. I don't know if it was PAX or BGG Con. But yeah, we had, we had all our rooms booked, our hotels booked. We were like early. We had like... Um, like hotels that were attached to the convention center. We had great prices on Airbnbs. We were rocking our convention planning, man. We were set. It was either gonna be me, Chris, and Britt, or me and Britt, or me and Chris. I was gonna be there, all of them, so lucky you guys. Um, but, but anyways, it was gonna be so much fun. I'm kinda bummed that didn't work out. Oh, I'm also looking at starting a podcast and that might be starting before the end of the year because as I mentioned I have some time off and of course instead of just taking my time off and filling it with fun things to do not that a podcast and you know doing boarding coffee isn't fun but I wouldn't say it's the most relaxing thing to do but anyways I, I have a tendency to fill up all my free time with more work or projects because I just always like to try to be doing something like I'm always I could rock retirement you know some people are like 
If you're retired, what would you do? Oh my God, I, I wouldn't have enough hours in the day to do everything I want to do. And like, if I ever get to the point where I'm like, I got nothing else to do, I just gonna watch Netflix and chill, that'd be great. That'd be great. We also have a Dream Home Lottery happening, being announced in like two days. Me and Brittany are planning on winning the million dollar home. It's funny, because a million dollar home in like, Toronto would be like, not a whole lot. Um, their prize there is like a six million dollar home, which is gorgeous by the way, and you get a Porsche or something like that. But here, uh, they stopped giving away cars, but a million dollar home in London, Ontario, let me tell you, is a nice house. So six million dollars here, that would be like a castle with its own moat. So many cards. I can't wait to find out what all these are for. I can't wait to open the rule book and be like, all those cards are the same. You flip through the French ones and the English ones because you didn't stop to read anything. Um, if I see anything with French icons on it, maybe I'll stop. That looks English. Uh, is there anything like... They might all be English. It's, it's hard to tell. Well, it's not hard to tell, but at the rate I'm trying to go through these, it's, it's, it's a little difficult. Oh, these cards are like stuck together. There you go. That was weird. Uh, okay. Oh, these cards are stuck together too. Oh, it's like a brick. I might even look barely. See? That is so strange. And they didn't they didn't do that crack. You know, when the cards are stuck together, they do that satisfying crack sound. That was weird. I see the. Let's see the art on one of these. And now let's go super fast. Oh no. What's that? What's that? Another story I can tell you. I eventually want to do a video of my collection or give you guys a tour of the studio. Uh, but there's a section of the studio that's not quite built yet and I would like to finish it. But you know what, I don't think I'm gonna, there's two sections actually. One just needs a little varnishing and some sanding. And uh, not in that order. Um, and then I can, I can show that. And then the rest of it, there's a big hole where a shelf should be, but uh, let me all do the tour anyways. We've had some requests. If there's any requests you guys like to see, you know, I'm looking, always looking for new things to do. New things to try out. Um, if you're going to suggest shorter unboxings, I wouldn't bother. It's, it's probably not going to work out. Why? Because I just have this need to see and show everything because it feels just unfinished if I don't. Mind you, if you look at our first unboxings, they were like nine minutes long for like giant Kickstarters like Rising Sun and because we didn't take out all the minis and we, we only had one camera we didn't know what we were doing then we tried to push it more and more and at one point we were taking photos of minis and and editing them in that that madam sir that took forever we shan't be going back to that again because that was like up many late nights editing in photos and taking photos and staging photos so we can splice them into certain parts of the video Yep. No more of that. We've advanced. And if you're listening to this and uh, it's... We have our top five Christmas uh, Christmas gift guide out right now. And that video, we're giving away ten board games to five lucky winners. So if you did the math on that, that's five people are going to win two games each. That's happening right now. So this video, when I launch it, you'll still have probably like a week left to get in that contest. Mind you, I know that people skip through the card portions because not everybody wants to read it. So this might not be the best time to advertise that, but hey. Okay, another story, another story, another story. Let me see. So. Maybe we should do this, we should make this a thing. Just do story time while I'm flipping through these cards. So, 
when I was in high school, there was this douchebag. We're not gonna give him a name, but he was like this skater boy douchebag. And I hope he's watching this because I would, I'd love to have a chat about this situation now. Um, anyways, I was in high school, Toronto, Western Tech. And there was this little skater boy douchebag. And um, again, it's, it's not because he was a, a skater boy, just because that's, that's what he was and he was a douchebag. The douchebag portion is the main part of the story. He had a brother. His brother was cool. I liked his brother. Uh, I was his brother or his friend. I don't know. But some guy he was always with. He was cool. So, this guy, when he hit puberty, he like launched in height. So he got a lot bigger than I was. But he was always like a mouthy little shit. Let's just call it what he was. He was the kind of guy that was just had to like just pick fights with everyone. And he would like attack my female friends, not while I was there, and they'd swiftly kick his ass. He because he was not he this was the weird thing. It's he would pick these fights and start these fights, but he could never win the fights. Ever. Like uh, all the female friends, I know he's been beaten up by a few of the girls in high school. And uh didn't help that they were bigger than him too. And it's just, but he kept doing it. And they didn't they didn't go bother him. He would just, it's not like he was standing up for himself. He would just decide to pick on people. He was like your TV bully, except he was half the size. And then puberty hit. So then he got big. So then he decided to continuing pick, to continuously pick on me or just try to egg me on, try to get me into a fight. And before we go into this, let's, Look at, let's admire the shininess. Ooh. So, the backs aren't shiny though. One day, uh, we're in class, because we ended up in a few same classes together. He, oh, there's so many stories. Let's start at this one first. One day in class, this is another class. I, I came in and I was a bit of a, a rowdy guy, but I didn't start. I didn't start fights. I was I was just kind of like the guy that would do what he said he did. And I would just do some crazy things. And one day I came to class and I'm like, man, I am so frustrated. I just, just feel like hitting somebody. You know, it's just something, it's just something I said. Um, and I say I don't mean it. And I, did, I wasn't like angry. I didn't want to actually hit anybody because they're all like friends of mine in the class. And I was just, I just feel like hitting somebody. It's just like get this frustration off with the professors and, or teachers and projects I had to get done. Just stupid teenage shit. And uh, so those are the back of those, by the way. And he comes up to me and he was like, oh, you can punch me in the face. Or no, he said, you can punch me. Because I said, I wanted to punch somebody in the face. Just being stupid, just goofing. And he's like, you can punch me. I was like, get out of here. I'm not going to punch you. You don't want to be punched. And he's like, no, do it. Do it. I was like, seriously, you want me to punch you? He's like, yeah, yeah, why don't you punch me? I was like, all right, just get your ass up here and uh, I'll punch you. So he comes up and he sticks a math book, like this big, thick, thick, Bible thick and wider math book, hardcover, in his shirt. And he's like, all right, take your best shot. And I'm like, I, I didn't want to punch you in the book. I wanted to, I was, it's, never mind, just get out of here. It, I was, I don't actually need to punch anybody. And he's like, no, don't do it. We had a deal. We had a deal. Let's do it. I was like, okay. All right. I'll punch you in the book. So uh, I did. I just gave him some weak little punch. I was like, there you go. Just to humor him. I'm like, all right, you happy? He's like, okay, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. I was like, what do you mean your turn? I never agreed for you to punch me. He's like, oh, you punch me, I'll punch you back. I was like, all right, give me this stupid book. And uh, so he does. He gives me the book. And I put the book under my shirt. No, I didn't put the book under my shirt. Sorry, I held the book in front of my chest, which is where he had it. And uh, and he was like, okay, ready? Ready? I was like, yep. And he takes a haymaker swing at my face. But I reacted in time with my Spider-Man-like reflexes, angled it, <laughs> like lifted the book in time to block his fist with the book. But I was holding it at an angle that when his fist hit, it broke his wrist. Now, how's that for karma? He broke his wrist trying to punch me in the face, trying to sucker punch me in the face. 
So, that happened. That didn't increase, that didn't improve our relationship any. Okay, let's look at the back of these. I'm gonna shut up for a bit so I can admire the artwork on this. You get to the end of that story. And there's more stories with that guy, because he was like a big a-hole. We'll go through the, the front of those later. That can those kind of remind me of the angels from uh, Doctor Who. Was it don't don't blink? The blink angels, what they're called. There are okay, okay. I don't really like the thought of fighting these things is kind of stress me out. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so let's see what's on the other side of these. We've seen that before, and if we know the same, they're all going to be the same. So we'll just... These look the same as the other ones we've already seen, so... I don't know what I'm missing here. Maybe they're, they're different, and they just they use the same artwork. But sorting this box seems like it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a pain. And you know, I, I do this stuff to myself. Because I do these unboxings this long. What am I doing? Why am I flipping through each of them? So I get what I'm talking about unboxing. Okay, so see that guy. And putting them away is is not is not fun. It's not fun. I don't I, I don't care for putting board games away. I love opening them. I hate putting them away. Um, there was a time in our life where Brittany liked putting board games away, and you think, oh, well, we're a perfect couple. Right? She got over that fast. She likes putting them away when they're minis and cardboard punch-outs. Because she likes putting the cardboard punch-outs back in their frames. Like a crazy person. But yeah, that's what she does. Um, I, I do that sometimes with smaller games. But she'll do that with like everything if she gets the chance. But now she's into her little laser cutting printing machine business. And now I'm second fiddle. Okay. Let's see, let's flip through these bad boys. There is so much content in this. Even if I'm not noticing and half of these are in a different language, even half these cards is a crazy amount of content. Considering this is wave two. Like there's a whole lot of other stuff. This is the bag of these ones. Wish we've seen those backings before. Now, I like how there's like little nails and these like little wanted posters. Nails there. Uh, if we get to another big stack of cards, I'll tell you another story. Oh, maybe I'll, yeah, I'll start now. No, next, next set, next set, I'm telling a story about how same Dinkus attacked me, caused me, caused me to get stitches. Um, and, uh, yeah. How's it? Here, here goes. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold your hold. Hold. We might be getting into double territory. No, no, we didn't. We haven't opened that unless we opened it earlier. Those. No, I think these are different. I don't know. Let's just do this. Um. Anyways, so yeah, where was I? Dinkus. Correct. So Dinkus. Uh, I was. Here's the thing. We were in class one day. And I was working late with a friend of mine trying to get a project done because, as usual, and this was like a print shop class, I, it was just me and a buddy of mine, we were the only ones left, and he, my buddy was trying to help me finish a project, and Dinkus comes in for no reason, just starts, to, first thing he does is start picking a fight in the studio, and now the teacher's there, and the teacher's just like... Mm, 10, 20 feet behind me at his desk, listening to this. So he comes in here and he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? What are you little, like, and ca calling us all kind of like, like derogatory things and names, just na being nasty. And we're like, all right, yeah, that's great. You're a great guy. How about you just leave us alone and just let us do our thing? And um, he just wouldn't let up. So we we're like, I swear to God, just, just leave. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't leave. You guys catching the back of these? Anyways. He starts 
just bad mouthing me and my buddy who were sitting there. So okay, these these are all different. I'm gonna show you them. And and we're like, okay, whatever. But then he then he goes too far. He starts bad mouthing my uh, a good female friend of mine. We weren't dating or anything. We we're just really close. And uh, he's just calling like terrible names and how she deserves like a beating and just like nasty things just calling her a whore and just whatever he's just being a dick so i was like i need you to leave or i'm gonna beat the shit out of you and he was like yeah i want to see you do and he just kept going just kept pushing and pushing and pushing till i got up and i started to choke him with one hand i did this was in high school and Oh, I grabbed his I grabbed his throat with one hand. My intent wasn't to choke him. I guess I don't know. Maybe it was. That's why I grabbed people by throat. I'm not sure. Anyways. So did that. And then I saw he was choking. He did no he had no natural fight instincts. He didn't even try to knock my hand away. He just stood there. Mind you, he's taller than me by like half a foot. At least. If not more. He just stood there and let himself be choked. His face got red. So I was like, I felt so sorry for him. I was like, oh my God, I just let go. And then he keeps walking up to me. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna kick your ass. I just, just kept going. He couldn't turn this guy off. And the teacher witnessed this whole thing, stood up, named him and said, get the F out of my class. Get out now. So he did. He left the class. As soon as he left, I looked at the teacher and I was like, you saw all that, right? Like you witnessed that in case he comes back and is, like starts trying to get me in trouble. And he's like, no, don't worry. I, I saw everything. That guy's a little asshole. All the words from the teacher's mouth. And I was like, good times, good times. So shortly after that, I got mono. How did I get mono? I'm not, exa I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I had a steady girlfriend, so I was not like I was whoring it around. Um, but I did, and I got really bad case of mono. Like I was hospitalized in a wheelchair. It was like uber mono. So, after I got out of the hospital, first day back to school, I wasn't really, I, I wasn't like contagious or anything anymore. But I was still wasn't top notch. I was still feeling pretty blah. Walks into class, see him there, Dinkus, and he's got a buddy that's not f with him. That's not from our school. So let's look at these. And this buddy, um, they look at me and they they grin and they smile. I was like, what the hell is this guy doing here? And so I know they're up to something. So I leave the class after class is done. Got my backpack on my back. Me and my buddy are going. And I suspect he's up for something. Like, this guy's not just here for no reason. And... As I'm leaving, I see his this his buddy, who's even taller than he is, who's it who's taller than me. I see him like lurking in the hallways. So he waited till I passed, and he gave a signal to Dinkus, who was hiding behind a door in the hallway. And then he burst open the doors, one of those two big those big heavy metal doors. He burst out of those doors, and I heard him. I heard him like his footsteps, like tap 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 tap, tap like running behind me. And I was like, oh, I know it's him before I even turned around. I just turned around, I started speaking, and I was like, for the love of God, if you wanna, like, I can't take this today. If you wanna fight, like, come find me later uh, when I feel better and I'll kick your ass. I promise, I'll do my best. Uh, but anyways, that's what I, I was kind of in the middle of that sentence. I was like, for the love of God, I don't wanna fight you now, I'll kick your ass later. And I turned around and he punched me, like, square in the face. I was like, what the hell? And then, I lost my balance, went into the wall across the hallway with him like running after me, pretty much on top of me. And I didn't fall, I didn't fall, I hadn't fallen. And he he went to go hit me again. And just like the movies, I never thought this actually happened, but I did it for once and I'm, I, I'm, I'll tell the story forever. I actually caught his fist in midair. That was awesome. Caught his fist in midair. I got my arm across him so he couldn't punch me anymore in the face and I held his hand but he used the other hand which had he which he was either holding something or he had brass knuckles something and he started hitting me in the back of the head really hard I again still sick managed to whip him across to the other side of the um, 
hallway. Slammed the lockers. We're still attached, by the way, and still standing. And my buddy, who was with me, is just watching this. Because he's a nice guy, not the bravest guy. And he uh, was getting threatened by the other guy, who said, if you get in there, I'll kill you. So he didn't do it. So, I, But I was asking him, I was like, could you, could you please get this guy off me? And he didn't. So I was like, well, if you're not going to do anything, could you at least go get the teacher? He's probably still in his office to get this a-hole away from me. And that's when his friend threatened him again. He's like, you better not do anything. And he did. So I decided, ah, oh, screw it. And I just pulled like a hockey move and started pulling the other guy's shirt over his head and started pinning him down. As soon as I got him into a position where I could attack him, the other guy jumped in. Got in our way. He didn't, he didn't attack me or anything, but he just jumped in my way, threatened to kill me. And, uh... And that was it. And then, just, as he's threatening me, these two girls, one of them's a friend of mine, uh, the other one is not, came in here and they scared him off. And I never realized this, but these the one girl I was uh, or like close friends with, this was a different girl, not the one he was picked on before, they came in and they're like, hey, like, asshole, get out of here. And she scared him off and he took off. And I didn't get why he was so scared of her. So they took off running like little cowards. And the reason was uh, my good friend, I forget, I, I forget her name, good friend at the time, she was a girlfriend of a local gang member who they were aware of. So, and her, her best friend who was with her was his sister. So, uh, that was interesting. I didn't know that until later. Okay, until I was trying to figure out why they ran away. This guy looks really cool. Could have used that guy that day. Anyways, look at the puppies. Oh, it's great artwork on this. Anyway, she scared him off. And then when I walked away, uh, everybody was in shock that I had a hole in the back of my head. I was like, what do you mean a hole in the back of my head? No, I had long hair at the time. So I reached back, touched my head, and it was just soaked in blood. I had to go to the office, went to the hospital, there was a police report. I didn't write the I didn't like report them to the police, but it was like school procedures you had to. Uh, so the school reporter. And as I said, because he was like the uh, Eddie Haskell type of guy, he oh he was actually yeah sorry this was a different guy, but he also fits that same criteria. All the teachers except for the one teacher we shared a class with thought he was an angel and they didn't believe it was him he couldn't have done it he couldn't have done that but he did it was witnesses so we went to court but because he was so long because sorry he was so young he pleaded guilty and that was it and those records now no longer exist so um i'd love to meet him meet up with him again okay these cards are all different so let's flip through them and see what we can do these are the last of the cards, by the way. After this, it's mini time, and then story time is over. Um, hopefully I didn't bore you with my stories. Uh, hope you figured out that if you didn't like them, there was always the mute button, which I'm sure longtime viewers have found a long time ago. Okay, we got some rose cards. Makes sense in a game called Black Rose Wars. There's a lot of cards in this. They're tiny. The art on the cards, I like that. Um, the look on those. It's pencil, pencil like drawings, but they're like, colored. It's almost like they're etched in leather. Yeah, there's some doubles here because they're part of the same dealio. But it's probably just as fast to flip through them all than it is to find the doubles. we got here great right, so that was it for the cards thank god i'm getting a crank
Uh, we got some, well, we got these cards. Uh, I don't think these are not going to be a big deal. We got some, a few tiles. See this? See that? A few tiles, and then mini time! Mini time in the city. That's not a song. I just made that up. Uh, you can use that. You can use it. I don't even want royalties. Okay, so those are, I was going to say reference cards, but these are completely different. So I'm going to say this. A lot of information. Uh, these are not the same. These are, or these are for the characters. Looks like, because that looks like it's for the Mickey Mouse character. Okay, so the tops are all the same. So I'm just gonna zoom into the bottom, so you can see. Oh, they have all kinds of different you know, icon action happening. Okay, what's the back of these look like? Are they all the same? Nope. They might be. Hold on. Uh, nope, they are not the same. So let's. I assume these are the backs. But there's more information on this than there is the front. Give me a reference. Okay, that. Let's toss those back in there. And then, then it's just, we finish big. We finish with the minis. We've gotta be coming close to two hours now. At least, at least an hour and a half. Okay. Ooh. I like the art on the, on the uh, environment tiles. Oh, it broke. Somebody broke the cool environment. So it's like everything's got like the, hey, I'm okay, and then, hey, I broke something. That ale house, you know what? I think I'm gonna have a beer after this. I don't, I don't uh, casually drink all that often. Uh, it usually has to be like guests over or a thing. Uh, I went through a phase where I was doing that more often. I think it's because Brittany did, and then we just both decided, let's just, let's just stop. It's just too much. So I like to save it for when there's, there's friends over. Fun fact about Mark, I did not start drinking until I was 27. And my birthday is coming up next week and I will be 44. I am ancient. I am just as ancient as these ruins. Yep, 44 doesn't seem as old as like when, when I was young and my dad was 44. Or my sisters, because I have sisters and they're all older than me. My youngest sister is like uh, 54. I have three sisters. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, these, it looks like it's like Assassin's Creed. Nice. Assassin's Brotherhood. Oh, I appreciate that. I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. I'm going, to, I'm looking forward to playing Valhalla on one of the new consoles, which I'm hoping Brittany will get me for my birthday. Uh, which I'm assuming she's already gotten because you can't really get them anymore. I think she's going to give me an Xbox. And I told her actually, as much as I'd like an X, an S is just fine since I don't have anything in this house that runs in 4K yet. Yet. Okay. Let's check out some of these minis. Oh, I like the chest. It's so sharp. Like this is 4K, so I'm hoping it does it justice. Oh, I like the little detail of the rows on there. Right there. These are great. These are. Would you guys get these done? Well, freaking done. Uh, there are nine of those, by the way. And there's two of these guys. Like little lizard people. Oh, I know those. That's where the roses go colored roses. I, didn't, I haven't seen any in this box yet. Or have I? I don't think so. I know they're in the core. Nice. It looks cool. It's got a it's a messed up bald spot. I'm assuming does a rose go there? That'd be cool. Do I put a rose on his head? That'd be neat. There's two of him. There is ooh, three of this bad mamma jamma. Look at this guy. He's freaking awesome. He is like the Hulk meets Lion O.
meets the lizard from Spider-Man. Speaking of Spider-Man, have you heard their news? They are casting, there's rumors, I believe, that they are casting the guy who played, I forgot his name, the actor who played Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Um, they are uh, casting the guy who played Dr. Octopus in that movie to play Dr. Octopus in the new Spider-Man movie with uh, Tom Holland. This guy looks awesome. These minis are amazing. They are so perfectly sharp. How how is it that we can get companies that can put out minis that look this good? And then you get other companies that just oh, it's like they they it gets like half-assed and they're not nearly as sharp. Like this is beautiful. The detail, I'm gonna I gotta zoom in on this guy, because the detail on this guy is just like old. The detail on look, look, look at a little like scars on his arm or his armor i don't know i think that's I assume that's his arm maybe it's armor but it's got scars in it like cuts this guy looks amazing like the veins in his neck the creases in his face the little details on his knuckles like come on that's amazing oh the detail on his boots Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so there's two of those. I don't know, actually, there's only one of that guy. This guy's different. Boo. It's knocked everything over. Freaking eight. Is he gonna hit you with those things? Oh, yeah, he's raging. This looks like kind of reminds me of the Hulk from um, World War Hulk or the latest Thor movie, which was inspired by World War Hulk. Oh, that look, I mean. I want to get a little just close, just for a little, just a little closer on this guy. The belt, I love the lion head on the belt, like the detail. You can make out, you can make out the creases on the lion's face on his belt. Like this is a small knife. Look at the tip compared to that lion's head. The questions: Do great minis make a game better? Yeah, they do. They do make it better. They can't make it worse. I love that look on his face. There's so much power in that pose. Very nice. I'm assuming he's there to kick my ass and not to play with, but I want to play with him. Uh, okay. What do we get here? Hmm. Huh. I like how they have the theme of like the roses on these like on their circle bases. Some little rose holes there. He looks oh, that's um looks like Ezio. From Assassin's Creed. Or what was the first one? I can't remember what the first guy's name was from Assassin's Creed. Ezio was from like the Brotherhood. He was the Italian uh, assassin. Who is the, he's my favorite assassin by far. Just uh, steadying the camera, getting a little rocky. Sorry if I got a little rocky, I bumped the camera. But he looks wicked. I like this, I'm, I'm playing with this guy. I'm gonna play with Ezio. Uh, the only thing I'm disappointed about Valhalla, even though I haven't played it yet, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla, is it sounds like they got rid of a lot of the sneaky sneaky, which is my favorite part of um, playing Assassin's Creed. It seems like they've got more on the battle system, which is like running up to the game a little... Look at that. Look at that. That's... I don't know if I'm disturbed or aroused. He looks, he's got, hold on. This is, I am zoomed in. He's got this like naked woman here. It kind of reminds me of those, those tattoos where it's like a guy's belly button, but it's like a cat's ass, but he's got, I don't know what's going on there. This is a very sexual being. I can d discern that by his outfit. 
Well, he's a pig. Is that why? Is that why? Like he's a, he's an actual he's like an actual pig and a and and a, a like a pig pig. You know what I mean? There's three of the pig the pig men, and there is one of her. She looks neat. He's tiny. Amazing how much detail they get eating the tiny, tiny ones. What kind of modeling tech are you guys using? Like, look at the creases and the folds. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but this is so sharp. Like, the details on the rope, like, you can see all the little creases. Like, it's amazing. It's fantastic. Fantastic. There's two of her in here. And that's it for minis in this box. Now, we have, we have a big old dragon over here that we're going to look at last. And we got this box. Which we got oh, a lot of unique minis in here. Oh, I see Mickey Mini. But not Mickey. Mickey, not Mickey Mini. I see him. stuff going on here okay so let's uh it's the best place to put this i don't want to miss anything ah see these things we pulled those up before that's what holds the little spinny wheelie things together Take that back in there since you can see this already let's look at this first and let's zoom out a bit hold oh i like the crown Man, my fingers are dry. This is actually not my skin condition. This is, we've been sanding a lot of wood and uh, all that dust. That is, that's my little skin condition that I'm trying to handle. But we've been dealing with a lot of wood and it's drying me out. That looks cool. To wear that to work if it fit my head. <sighs> oh, love this. Love this. Because that version of uh, Mickey is my favorite version of Mickey. Love that. Oh my god, it makes me want to go to Disney like right away. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm assuming these are our heroes because they're a different color. Oh, he looks so cool. Oh, well, we got to You know, I feel like I don't want to zoom in on all of them because it's going to take so long, but I got to because they look so good. All right, let's do it. You convinced me. Look. Look at that. Look at little birds. Where's my... Can you make that out? Got like a whole little bird model on his belt. Bird head there. The fact that you can make all that out from these little minis, like they're... He's got this whole bird theme happening, actually. That's his, like, that's his thing. He looks wicked. Look at this guy. He's selling faces. Oh, he's like the mask man. He's got all kinds of like, he's like that guy in uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, he's invisible. He's the invisible man. He's got no legs. Look at this. That's cool. He's, he's got no body. He's no a body. Look, his knee should be there, but it's not. He's got no face. He's just got a collection of faces back there. That's awesome. Well, like not awesome for him. Oh, look, I like, like his arm, like the gaps. That's a great idea for a mini. That's my first invisible mini. What a great idea for a mini. Well, let's zoom out. You're gonna see a little camera rocking because I keep touching the camera to zoom out and in and out because I want to show you guys like the most I can. I don't think I need to zoom into all of them. I think it's just because I'm looking through a phone screen, which is really small. But when you guys see this, you can like zoom in in 4K and really get a good look at these. Love that outfit. These giant hats. I actually wrote a story about people that wore giant hats like that. It's not out anywhere where you could read it. It's just an idea. Which is voluptuous. 
like her. She's got, whoa, she got a lot of hands. I can show that. I can roll with that. She's a really pretty model. I like when they, um, as an illustrator, or former illustrator, I haven't illustrated in a long time, but I always like the full figured hips. Learned that lesson from Adam Hughes, great artist. The detail on his armor, it's crazy. He's got so much stuff happening. I think these guys must be, might be just as detailed as like the guys from Hate, but the guys from Hate I think were bigger. I mean that as a compliment. Look at all the stuff he has on his belt. I mean, this guy we're zooming on, in on. He's got like a whole utility belt thing going on here. It's a shame I can't just bring him up to the camera because he gets all blurry. Can I do this? Can't make it or anything. Can't see anything. So I gotta, I gotta do that. Look. Got a little screaming face on there. He's so cool. Cool character design, guys. Well done. Oh, that's the guy with uh, Mr. Glowing Eyeballs. Right. That guy, I know we didn't zoom out, but... Just gotta make some judgment calls on here. Oh, he's got the... Uh, it's like an hourglass. What game was it? I saw they had, it was, a, the mini was holding an hourglass or it was supposed to be an hourglass. It was a blob. You couldn't make out what the hell it was. And this, not only is this an hourglass, you can clearly see it's an hourglass with a rope that's being held down by other like mystical hands. Like the only way that our hourglass could look better is if it was functional. Could you imagine that, putting like a functional hourglass to a mini? So we're talking some next, that'd be next level. Well, hello there. Again, great footwear. Is it, she's got like a hungry bum? I thought, I assume she was wearing a dress, but that's a, it's a big crack for a dress. She thinks she's got hungry bum. That's awkward. I she knew that was happening when she posed for this. Zoom out. Find if they don't have a lot of detail, it's best to zoom out. She just actually doesn't have that much detail. But, right. Oh, dropped him. Wow, that guy's... That guy's jacked. And he just ripped off the wheel on a boat. I don't forget, I forgot what that's called, but he just took it off. The helm? Is he a pirate? Like a face coming out of his book? All right. And you know who we're gonna, I'm gonna save Mickey till last of this section. Where is this? Some, something's familiar about this character. Is it like a, a Kiki's delivery service or something? Something about her. Just can't put my finger on it. Oh, there's a guy with the nice haircut. I like this guy. He's cool. He seems like the cool guy of the group. Is he the bard? Pretty buff for a bard. Buff bard. That's. Check him out, nice and close. Although his face is a little, I think it's because so small. A little muddier, a little softer than others, but I can still see the like the attitude in his face. Like the, uh, the fox, or the wolf head, or whatever, across his chest. Look at the detail, the muscles. It's my life goals. Yeah, look at this guy. 
this guy's awesome. He's Brittany's gonna want to play with him. I'm not gonna get a chance to play with him. I'm gonna tell him there's a little demon that's inspired by uh, Mickey in his little wizard outfit, and she's gonna be like dibs. He's really cool. The idea of him is, like he's not my favorite looking mini, but the idea of him is my favorite. Ooh, she's fancy. She's dressed to impress. I love how detailed all the clothing is. Like you get right in there. You can see like the like the little frills are in bustier and this thing. She got oh she got like a cloth around her eyes. You can make that out. Wow. Okay. There's three of her in there. There are three of this guy. And he is a oh, that's gross. Is he a dragon? Dragon dog? What is he? He looks like something that would serve as Gozer. Ghostbuster fans out there? Anybody? Oh, this guy. He's kind of like a. He's got a ninja peacock going thing, thing going on there. I say ninja because those look like things he'd throw. Like throwing stars. Or throwing knives, I guess, is what they would be, but they're throwing feathers. Looks cool. There are two of him. I like this guy. He reminds me. He looks just like the rock monster from Never Ending, Never Ending Story. They look like big, strong hands, don't they? It is Rock Biter. He's holding a rock. It's Rock Biter from Never Ending Story. Except he's got more details on him. He's kind of like Egyptian version of Rockbiter. I like it. I like it. I'm pretty sure there's tons that I've missed here. Oh, look at this cute little thing. I want to kick ass with this thing. What's this? What am I looking at? Is that like a cat? A cat with like a hat in its mouth? Uh, a cat in a hat? Or is a cat eating a hat? Puss in books? Because no boots. This guy's a little small. Can we get a little closer? He just looks like a grumpy hat who stole his master's hat. Yeah, okay. And then we got... There are let's make sure it's three of these guys. These things. What are these? Those are just the knives flying out of the ground. That's, that's inconvenient. Quite the security system. Then we got Battle Cat. That's Battle Cat. We got Skeletor and Battle Cat. The Bard, I guess that could be. Prince Adam, that could be He-Man. You know, I think I'm all I think I'm all so clever. It's probably like if you look at the clicks Kickstarter, they probably called him right out. We've got Rockbiter and Battle Cat and Skeletor. Okay. And Mickey Mouse. You know, I was I've always, believe it or not, I've always wanted a game where I could battle as Mickey Mouse. And you know, slay some demons. Who hasn't? Can't be the only one. Okay. These guys are fairly big. We can probably look at them like so. I'm getting a very uh, Bioshock vibe from these guys just because it's like a clock robot. Not that there were a lot of clock robots in Bioshock, so you know what? Ignore me. But, but just all the like the gear work stuff. I like him. Look at the gears on his back. Gears just make everything cool. Really think about it. How many gears do you see on the on the daily 
or barrels for that matter. Not many. This guy's like chunky, he's heavy. Uh, so what else we got here? Oh, that's a, we got a big guy there. We'll wait for him last. Oh, I got, I got this guy. He's got some crazy hair. I mean, how many bottles of hairspray do you think to keep that thing up? Okay, there's two of him. There are two of this guy. He looks cool. Kind of got like I get like an Akuma vibe from this guy. No, that sword looks familiar. What game does that remind me of? Hmm. Something. Is that the Awakened Realms logo? I, I if there's if that's I'm gonna put the Awakened Realms logo right here, if I remember. I might forget and miss this part in the editing, but... Okay. One of these faces Marson? He's got some heads on there. The detail on the heads that he's collected on his belt are awesome. He's got one, like... Go oh, useful though. They can he can rest his arms or like armrests. And this whole you know that's the only reason I've had, haven't had heads on my belt. I didn't know how useful they were. Now I know. Now this guy I gotta zoom out because this guy is, is a big one. Look at him. He's like throwing a portion of a castle like a castle tower. That's cool. He's large. Getting a closer look at him. He's got gears on his shoulders. Have I mentioned I like gears? Nice. Okay. Have I done these guys? No, I have not. Oh, is this that ice monster? He's cool and disturbing. He's got like bits in them and swords like people fought this guy and they just got frozen in the ice he's really cool great character designs in this like, bravo guys bravo oh give me the mini oh it's Skeletor and it looks like he's got He-Man sword or does Skeletor have a sword like that? I don't recall. Skeletor. Does Skeletor have a sword like that? He might. Who do you think win in a fight? Skeletor or Mumra? Mumra transformed, I think, would kick Skeletor's ass. When he gets all, like, buff stuff. And we're talking them, like, one-on-one, -on -one, not their minions don't count. They can't use their minions. Kind of reminds me of the Skeletor from the movie. The He-Man movie. It was just called Masters of the Universe, wasn't it? I think. Oh. He's awesome. Love the detail in this guy. We'll zoom out on him, but I love the, like, the stuff on his stomach. Like tattoos, but not. He's got a book to his side. Giant hammers. How does he attach that axe every day? Oh, his like one hammer's on fire. I like the color of these minis. Makes their detail really stand out. Is that Dorothy? Oh no, it's Baba Yaga. That's awesome. Baba Yaga's actually riding her house. I'm getting a vibe of like the... Oh, what's that movie? The old movie, Dolly Parton movie. Something about the 
Littlest the Whorehouse in Texas or something. I can't remember what it's called. It's cool. I like that she's right in the house. What a great take on Baba Yaga. I like it. Then we have... Ooh. I didn't realize he was writing at whatever those lion statues are called. It's really neat. Fantastic. He looks like he's ready to like rising sun. Okay, and last but not least, we have two of these. Ooh. Is she fancy? She had cat, cat of nine tails, although she's only got five tails, cat of five tails. Is that a thing? Looks great. I love the action pose. Like, in, like a great pose changes everything. If this character was just like chilling there, standing, it wouldn't look as, wouldn't have the same impact. Okay. We only have this, and that is it. That is it. I think I've talked more in this video than any other video ever. I think it's because of the stories. Um, you know, let me know in the video. Should I tell more stories? Because I have lots. They're not all good. They're not all winners. But I got lots. Or should I just shut up? I can't guarantee I'll shut up, but I can stop telling stories. Kind of. Most of the time. What am I looking at here? He looks good. Well, like, surprise, surprise. What a beast! Holy crap, he's got a little tiny... Looks like broken wings, but the wings look like they were made out of wood. Oh, sorry, I gotta zoom in on this thing. He is jacked up. And what is going on with his face? He's got like a head on his face, covering his eyes. The detail on the hammer is amazeballs. Love all the use of chains. These guys accessorize really well. So he looks like wings, but their wings look almost like they're made of wood and they were chopped off. He's like a fallen angel. I'm assuming if this guy was a fallen angel, that's because somebody thought he was going to take over. Okay, last but not least, the big dragon. The big old badass dragon. Okay, how can we see? Well, here's, let's get this kind of top-down view on him. He's got these long-ass wings. I'm going to have to move the camera to get a full shot of him. What a fantastic mini. He's going to be awesome to fight. The level of details, man. Minis are like... have come a long way since Hero Quest, the original. Can't speak on the new one, haven't really seen a whole lot of minis. Looks great. Okay, let me see if I can find a, a position for this to so you can so you guys can see it. Hold on. Because he's so big I can even fit him on camera. Wow. He's cool, right? Check out that tail. And those wings. The coolest wings are always the ones that are torn. They're like the most useful, useless wings, but they're the coolest wings. You know you're badass when your wings are full of holes. Like, how did you get to that point? How did you get to that point? You're just a poor flyer? Just fly into like a flock of seagulls? Like, what happened? When did your life take this turn? And who buys armor for you? Can you talk? Do you order that? On Amazon? Okay. That, I think that was it. I believe that was all of it. I wouldn't be surprised if I missed something. There's a whole lot here. Let's turn this off.
There you go. And let's uh, move that aside. <sighs> All right, well, thank you very much for joining me for wave two of our Black Rose Wars unboxing, which I'm boggled that there was this much in wave two. How much did I pay for this thing? It's amazing. Yeah, and keep in mind, I did pay for these things. This, this is not a freebie. Mind you, if anybody ever wants to send me this much stuff to open, yes, please. Yes, I will do, I will do that gladly for you, as, as I like you, whoever you are. I'm sure we'll get along. Okay, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing as much as I did. We'll see you next week. It's my birthday next week. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.